It's the Q. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here with the Q. We are on the ground at the Santa Clara Convention Center at the Open Daylight Summit. It's the second Open Daylight Summit that they've had, about the third year of the foundation. We want to come down and give you a feel for what's going on. We're really excited for our next guest, Masashi Kudosan from NEC. Welcome. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, so you are uh, CTO, SDN Group, and Chief Advanced Technologies. Yes. Smart guy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but you're here, you said, really in a different role, talking about being an ambassador for Open Daylight mm -hmm. in Japan. Yeah. So what does that mean for the people that don't know that? Ambassador uh, is uh, taking the role to promote Open Daylight, uh, introduce Open Daylight technology, and uh, to grow uh, Open Daylight community. And you said uh, off camera you've been getting a lot of excitement, so you've started some meetups, you've started to get the community together. I wonder if you can share kind of how that's going. Yeah, the first meetup was, was held in January, and uh, at that time uh, more than 50 people gathered in spite of a weekend uh, meetup. And the second was uh, in June, and uh, it was held uh, from uh, 7.30 p.m. In spite of that, uh, more than 70 people gathered. So uh, many Japanese people are very interested in uh, open daylight. Uh, they are uh, enthusiastic about open daylight technology and this community. Uh, why do you think they're so so excited about open daylight? Because obviously SDN, we've talked about software-defined mm -hmm. hardware and software-defined mm -hmm. you know, virtualization and networking was kind of the last thing. So why are they so excited about open open uh, networking and SDN? I think there, there is a long history. <laughs> uh, as you know, uh, in IT area, uh, there was a movement uh, from main uh, mainframe to open system. And it take more than 20 years. And uh, uh, at that time, Linux uh, was uh, emerged. And uh, emerged, Linux changed IT world. And uh, people are expecting the same thing in networking area as well. So uh, at the start point, uh, at the emergence of SDN, Open Daylight was uh, proposed and uh, established. Then uh, people are very much excited about this concept and are very uh, much uh, fun to uh, this idea, right. I believe. Right. And you said you're involved in other open source projects as well, mm -hmm. like OpenStack. Mm -hmm. How does OpenStack, Open Daylight, how do all these things kind of fit together in what you're trying to put together from a, a product perspective? Well, uh, that's a very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, NEC is uh, currently working on several uh, open source projects, uh, including Linux, OpenStack, Onos, and uh, OPNFV. Uh, in these areas, uh, they are closely relating. Uh, for example, uh, we are uh, contributing OpenStack in a tremendous uh, amount of uh, contribution code. And uh, OpenStack and uh, this HDM controller are helping uh, together to uh, promote or to uh, assist uh, users' uh, operation environment. And uh, this kind of... Uh, uh, improvement will help uh, our uh, social infrastructure and uh, as well as uh, uh, our uh, environment as well. And talk just a little bit about the role of open source now in IT mm -hmm. and how both as an enabling technology as well as something that you deliver, mm -hmm. that open source has been such a game changer and, mm -hmm. and what the impact has been for NEC. Uh, initially, uh, we started our uh, proprietary SDN controller. Uh, we uh, released our first SDN uh, product in 2011. Uh, since then, uh, that, that was based on the uh, open flow uh, technology. Uh, since then, uh, as SDN expands, uh, we recognize that not only open flow, but also other uh, southbound technologies are very important. And at the same time, for upper layer uh, security, uh, AAA kind of uh, uh, technology are very important as well. 
And uh, we uh, think, we recognize that uh, uh, single or only a company cannot realize the total solution for open, uh, uh, so, so, uh, total solution for uh, SDN controller. And uh, so we think that uh, by leveraging open source technology, uh, our product can be uh, much more matured and also at the same time for customers, for users. Uh, they don't care whether <laughs> that is a product or that is open source. Uh, they need a, a functionality, they need a, a, a support from uh, uh, industry. So we believe that not only uh, uh, by uh, helping, by supporting both uh, product and open source, uh, customers will be much happy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Because at the end of the day, they just want something that works, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then, when is your next? When is your next meetup? Uh, that will be in September. September. Two hundred people, you think? Ah, uh, a thousand people. <laughs> <laughs> just give them pizza and beer. That's the secret to meetups yeah. in the states. Yeah. You give them pizza and beer there too. Sure. Absolutely. All right, good. Well, kudos on, thanks for stopping by. Uh, good luck on your ambassadorship. Sounds like you're well on your way. And uh, thanks again for taking a minute out of your day. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. He's Kudos on. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. Thanks for watching.